double handed choke like this. Now, what I want you guys to do is to be able to control your opponent and get into a clinch position. This is very, very similar to a clinch. The only difference is this, right? That's a clinch, that's a choke. This is a bit less comfortable, but really, this is more dangerous. I can easily be pulled down for a knee, right? From here, he can't really pull me down. So, from my perspective, I'd rather be in this position. So what I want you guys to do is to treat this like it's a clinch, okay? So imagine he's got control, he's on the inside. My hands are up, okay? A few different ways we can deal with this. First of all, pull, push, in, in, and now I've got control, okay? So one way we're getting control on the clinch. Another way here. From here, hands are up, one arm through the middle. Go for the elbow strike, right? And now I've got control, in I go. Another way we can get control. There's the choke. Hands are up, first principle, avoiding any strike. There could be a headbutt coming in or even an elbow strike. So we've got to make sure hands are up. One arm up, grab. Now I've got control again. Okay, guys? Think of this as, first things first, protect yourself. The next thing is to get control. So there's not much point from here, you know, before you even protect yourself trying to do a strike. First thing is protect yourself. The second thing is get control. And now we can start to use our control to get an outcome, right? So let's think about how we can do that. I'll show you a few different examples, but ultimately at this level, I want you guys to be creative, okay? So from here, the choke comes in, protect myself up here, sweep. Okay, guys, another one, here we go. Choke comes in, up, pull, push, in, in, knee. Choke comes in, lock, up, here, take down. Good. Another one, guys, choke comes in, here, up, arm in, here I go, sweep, okay? So think about all the different techniques you can do from here, guys, all right? One thing I want you guys to get very, very good at from here, choke, up, getting into the clinch, however you're gonna get into the clinch, and then turning them around, okay? And pushing away. Ultimately, if you can do that without delivering any strikes, you're in a really strong position. So from here, choke comes in, hands up, clinch. If you can get the other hand in even better, remember now we're gonna pull and push, pull, push. I'm now ready for the next strike. One option. The next option, of course, is to restrain your opponent, keep them on the ground from that position after a takedown, and hold them there until help arrives. So here it comes, choke, hands up, bang, here, knee. You know, it's never gonna be static, you're always gonna be moving, but from here, there it is. Okay, from this position here, guys, I can put my weight on his back, I can even pull the arm back, I've got an arm bar here, okay? When you get up to black belt level, we'll teach you to throw the leg over and perform an armbar. But for now, just holding your opponent here until help arrives. If you try to move, you know, you can put more weight down, you can start to pull the arm. There's a million things you can do to hold them there, guys. Restraining your opponent, keeping control without necessarily hurting them becomes really important. Like so, 